What is going on YouTube? My name's Andy from Little RV Big Life and today I want to talk to you about the B&W Companion Hitch System. If you have a traditional B&W flip over ball, throw that sucker away. What we have got is the Companion Hitch System from B&W. This works with your B&W flip over balls. In a second, I will show you exactly how it works, but I want to talk to you a little bit about this hitch. The reason why we went with this hitch was because we stopped at a local RV dealership and we had a conversation with them. When we were looking for a new camper, we had actually told them that we use the traditional fifth wheel pin to ball adapter, which actually sticks down off the front and as, as a column that comes all the way down. Now the problem with some of these are, is it adds a whole lot of extra torque so because you have this big arm hanging off the end of it, it, adds a bunch of extra torque. So if you get into an accident, it'll cause a lot more damage than just a traditional kingpin. Now the reason why we went with this, like we said, was we spoke to a dealer and when they had heard about that, they told us a story about two different accidents. One was with the fifth wheel plate just like this and it was a head-on collision 60 miles an hour it was a big Ford F450 and a big RV behind him now a van had crossed the median and hit him head-on took out the entire front half of the truck the only damage that it did to the RV was the kingpin was just tilted by 10 degrees that's all they put a different pin box on it everything else survived they got a new truck and they're back down the road with the other style, just like our stabilizer here, you can see it comes straight down, adds about another 12 to 18 inches of leverage against the frame. The other accident that they told us about had one of those adapters on it, and when it was a collision, it was two vehicles headed the same direction, and one had just ran into the back of the other one. The truck ran into the back, hauling a camper. What it did was there was so much leverage on the kingpin, all that stress was concentrated all the way through this area and actually broke the frame right here. So if you are considering towing with one of those, you may want to consider something different like our B&W companion hitch system. All right, let's talk about ride. Now, since we've gotten this companion hitch system, our ride has been dramatically increased. I could feel chucking, bucking, and pretty much every single bump in the road because of there was so much leverage on that adapter. This fifth wheel pin here, we went up in almost 5,000 pounds in weight. Our dry weight is heavier than our gross vehicle weight on our old camper that had the adapter on it, and it was smooth, completely smooth, didn't feel any chucking or bucking because this is so much more stable than just a single point attachment. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that everything is perfect with these, the reason why I originally had liked the ball in the bed style was because you could just flip it over and you have your entire bed available. These, they're huge. I mean, this takes up a quarter of my bed just by sitting here. But the great thing about these companion hitches is you can take them apart. Let me show you just how easy it is to take these things apart. So like I said, this thing is massive. You can see it takes up most of my six and a half foot bed and it just barely clears the box that's in the back of my bed also. It's just two pieces and it's fairly heavy. So if you're not really able to carry 150 pounds from here to there, definitely get a friend to help you out with that. The unit that I have is a 20,000 pound unit with a 5,000 pound pin weight rating. If you are looking for one, I will have an Amazon link in the description below. If you were wondering how the jaws work, there is a safety pin back here that you'll have to pull out. 
and then all you do is open this up and those jaws will open right up. You pull in, you pull in so your pin fits right in here and it'll push against that and it'll actually close by itself. Now, if you're unhitching and you're having a hard time being able to open this and it feels like it's spring loaded but there's it's not releasing pressure from here, you may have your trailer too high or too low and still have a bunch of pressure still on these jaws. Now, as far as securing this to your truck, there is this bolt here that goes down through a draw bar through the square that's attached to the bottom side of this hitch. You will need to let your pen drop into place and then you'll tighten down this draw bar to 60 foot pounds. That's a critical torque spec, so you will want to follow that instruction. Otherwise, you may have a failure and lose your truck and your camper. When you're done with that, this little latch here does fit down over top of it and it'll lock it into place so it doesn't back out by itself. If you're curious on how that draw bar works, when you tighten up that bolt, it will pull in this bar here and it will clamp down onto your pin that fits in through that hole. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about visibility. You can see the top of the plate here is pretty easy to see. So when I'm backing up, I don't have to guess or jump in and out of the truck just to be able to see if I'm over the ball, to see if I'm lined up, to see if there's any other issues like that, I can just pull the arm open, drive back into it, wait till it closes, latch it in place, and drive away. So, if you guys like the BMW Companion Hitch System, or maybe if you just like this video, give us a thumbs up. Every thumb helps. If you have not already, please consider subscribing. We release a video just like this one every single Monday. And for now, my name's Andy, and I will see you in the next video.